It's the ancient battle between old and new. But this time, the failure of a major bookstore chain has people wondering if online sites will actually kill off traditional bookstores. They are slowly dominating the book selling market. Um, and that's the way of technology and, and progress. I think ultimately they will destroy the physical bookstore. Red Group Retail owns the Angus and Robertson and Borders bookstore chains, which went into administration earlier this year. The group is crying foul because online book sales remain GST exempt, and this is seen as a major factor in their collapse. But not everyone thinks this will filter down to other stores. There's no real connection between what is happening in the book world and what is happening, what happened to Angus and Robertson Borders. Nine Borders and 67 Angus and Robertson stores have already been closed across Australia. The loss of these stores and thousands of jobs is causing considerable nervousness for some in the industry, but not everyone is panicking. It's not having as much of an impact as you might think when you read the media. Um, particularly the collapse of Red Group has been attributed largely to online sales and I think that that's not really the case. It's not killing the industry. RMIT media and communications professor Michael Webster agrees and says the bookstore is not something which is likely to disappear anytime soon. My view and I think the view of the industry is that Angus and Robinson Borders has gone into administration because of their business practices, not because the market for the sale of books has declined. In fact, based on Nielsen Bookscan figures, book sales in Australia last year increased. Although some experts feel that online sales and e-reader technology is not having a lot of impact on the book selling market, former employees of the closing stores feel differently. We're unemployed so we can't switch stores or anything so we've got to look for new jobs. Buying books online can save readers up to 50% and is becoming increasingly popular as a result. <laughs> E-reader sales are also on the rise and not just online. Everybody was buying Macrobos, would sell maybe three or four a day if we had them in. But not everyone agrees this rise is significant for the future of bookstores. In terms of e-books, uh, in America we know that it's about 15% of sales, but in Australia it is at maximum 3% of sales. And I don't think a shift of 3% of sales to e-readers has killed ANR and Borders. Experts have said it is likely to come down to sharing the market, rather than a total eclipse of the old-fashioned bookstore. I don't think there'll be substitutions. I don't think you'll go from buying books to buying no books. Although there are many opinions about the issue, everyone seems to agree Australia's industry is shifting. There definitely is a change going on, but it's not as fast or dramatic in Australia as it is elsewhere. Experts expect to see a rise in the number of people going online and in the sale of e-books and e-readers in the coming years. So how will the bookstore survive? Some believe it won't. We can't pretend that e-books don't exist anymore. And I think maybe 10, 10 to 15 years life left in bookstores. But many believe the bookstore experience simply can't be replaced. Your customers are buying on price, that's when you can have the biggest problems uh, with losing sales to online. But I think uh, customers who go to independent bookstores are more likely to be going to those stores for reasons other than price. While bookstores are now on the endangered list, they are by no means extinct. Kate O'Connell, Newsline.